Hi, Mark here from the Tangibound Podcast Network and host of the flagship show, the Tangibound Podcast. Did you know that we over at Tangibound are always looking for amazing podcasts to promote? And did you also know that we are also proud nerds and geeks of everything from movies, music, gaming, TV shows, and comic books to wrestling, MMA, soccer, and football? Whatever you can nerd or geek out about, we've got it. And if you're interested, we can help you find it. And if you're a show looking for a place to call home, we've got you covered. Side effects may include upset stomach, dizziness, tumors, shakes, and in some rare cases, death from excessive laughter. Though to be fair, it's only sometimes. Other side effects may include diarrhea, gallstones, heart palpitations, and strong desire for cookies on the dark side. Talk to your doctor and visit TangiboundNetwork.com and see if Tangibound Network is right for you. This is a Danger Entertainment Podcast. DangerEntertainment.net Danger Entertainment Podcast Network. Welcome to the podcast from Temperance Town. The sexiest podcast of world renowned. Tony grows a beard to hide his chin, swabs it with Earl, so it glistens. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. Download the pod, you won't get enough of these dapper chaps talking deadly fluff. In Hobo Gulch, they run a homeless mission, clanging and banging with the pentagram of kittens. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. They enjoy their whiskey and local craft beer. By Odin's on Cubis, we give a cheer. Tony's a raccoon when he's booziest. Don't be a savage, be an enthusiast. Salty, salty language, kings of the sexy frontier. On the frozen tundra, they call it a lock. Tony likes to masturbate in a sock. Brian pisses rocks cause it feels so great I still don't know who the fuck is Tate Salty, salty language Kings of the sexy frontier The boys will let you know when there's a Due to male pattern baldness They don't wear curlers Stay salty people, that's their closing line And don't forget Have a beer, you'll be fine Salty, salty language Kings of the sexy frontier Salty, salty language Kings of the sexy frontier Salty Hey enthusiasts, this is Salty Language, episode 315. Uh, just Brian this week. Um, I kind of was not really feeling like recording this week. Um, so Tony and I decided to uh, go ahead and toss up the last part of the Pod God Damn It uh, pieces. Uh, this will be the last, I don't know, five or six, something like that. And, uh, you know, we had a blast doing these back in the day. Um, Tate's on a lot of them. If you didn't know who Tate was, you get a little taste of, of our interactions with her and, uh, everything. So hopefully everybody enjoys that and, uh, we should have a regular episode back up for you, uh, next time. Hot. God. Damn it. Hey. Hey. We gotta hurry this up. I got a fucking movie to watch. <laughs> 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 and no one else is gonna get that completely Fantastic. out of context mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. this is uh the folks from salty language i'm brian i'm tony oh i just <laughs> fucking ate the mic <laughs> tony just <laughs> buried his face in the mic martial arts into it yeah so uh who are you again tate thank you mm-hmm. just in case anyone didn't hear it um uh, the pod goddammit question for this week is, what would you do if you only had 24 hours to live? Hmm. 24 hours to live, eh? Yes. 
Fuck. So, yeah. Yep. And eat and drink. We you make like a Dr. Seuss book? Yes. Like fucking a oh. boat, fucking a goat. Yeah. All that. No. Yeah. No? I would not, could not fucking a moat. Would not, could not fucking a boat. Yeah. No, moat. Moat, right. No? No. I wouldn't get all fucking creative and rhymey with my shit. You would. Just too. do it. She would. Well, no, just, I'm not saying get creative and rhymey. I'm saying like go visit exotic locales 24 hours. By no, it takes too much time. By exotic locales, you mean truck stop? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. <laughs> Let's go to the Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> Become a lot lizard. <laughs> no, you just hop online, do a bunch of different it's things I've done before, and it's a lot of work. Happy. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Maybe not. No. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You might. Well, if you died unhappy, how would you know? Um, it's a good call. Sure. Yeah. Because whoever comes and finds their body, you just have a big frowny face. <laughs> oh, I can only hope. <laughs> can only hope. I, mean, I don't know. How, how do you determine that? That's a good question. Okay, huh? then then it wouldn't matter because I would have a happy face. Oh, okay. Fair enough. All the orgasm. What if, like, the Spurs lost bad, like, right as, I before you died? Watch. I wouldn't watch. All right. Just in case? Yeah, just in case. Yeah, that's a good point. Well, if I had 24 hours oh, to live. They're playing like the Wizards or something. I would totally watch. <laughs> and they get blown up by 30. You're like, oh, come on. And that's how you die. You just get a heart attack from it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Of sadness. Mm. Wow. Depressed in front of the TV. Mm-hmm. Oh, that sounds like a terrible way to go. That's yeah, the American way. So. It, America. 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 Fair enough. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I've always wanted to punch an old person. So I thought <laughs> this is an old person's home. <laughs> It's pretty good, yeah. Scratch that off my list. Strong, I, yeah. Do you yeah. go out clocking some old dude? Who said dude? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I want to knock them teeth right out of their face. Yeah, exactly. That'd yeah. be great. He has no gender in my book, and you know that, so stop. Oh, I'm sorry. You know, I just, you know, crotch the old people are pretty annoying. I wouldn't mind punching one every once in a while. Please tell me you'll crotch shop first. Of course. <laughs> of course. <laughs> And then I'd sock him, and he'd watch him drop, and all the other horrified retired home people be there. Mm-hmm. So like, you're jealous of my youth. Then I'd leave. <laughs> oh, you're not because they don't know I'm dying. You're not gonna piss on him too. No, no, no. Come on. You gotta save that for someone else. Oh, good point. Yeah. <laughs> all right, <laughs> I already punched him out. <laughs> you realize he has a fake eye, and you're like, mm, nah, that's too far. <laughs> yeah. Skull fucking's just not. No, right. it's, no. Oh, I forgot to talk about filling up the old orbital oh, of piss. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Yeah, that's, no, you know, not unless he has a urinal cake in his head. <laughs> of course. Wow. Got to keep it clean. <laughs> Duh. That's pretty good, though. All right. I don't know how to top that. That's pretty good. That's only, yeah, that's only going to take probably 20 minutes, too. That's well, still a lot of time to do shit. True. However, like, if you start punching one, it could become, like, a walking dead thing. Like, all of them just start hoarding on you. All right, I'll stick some spokes and some wheelchair spokes. Sticks and some wheelchair wheels. Mm-hmm. Knock some walkers over. Whatever. All right. Be some walkers over. Yeah, take take away that little tennis ball, they lose oh, all traction. Oh, I thought you meant that there's zombies as zombies. walkers. No, yeah. I'm talking about like walkers. <laughs> oh, right, right. I was with Tate on that one. Sorry, we were both stuck in the Walking Dead still. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah. I think it's funnier. Well, it's funny either way. So I don't know. Yeah, I probably wouldn't really have too many drinks because I want to be, you know, comprehend everything that's going on in my last 24 hours. Mm. Why? Who cares? Well, because I'm going to do shit I can't do when I'm normally. See, I think you should just go on a Scarface-sized Coke binge and then do this stuff. Mm, Maybe. You would die then, though. Not necessarily. Maybe. Hey, if you do, eh, fine, do the Coke binge afterwards. I'm thinking more like, you know, uh, falling down, kind of just rampage. (laughs) See, that's what I would love to do. I'd just love to do that anyways, to where I could just go through... Like, department stores and shit, or, you know, when I'm out in the parking lot and I see people who won't put a fucking cart away that's, like, three feet from the corral. Exactly. And just beat the living shit out of them. Yeah. Just spend a day doing that. There you go. Would be good times. If you only got 24 hours to live. There's better things to do. I'm Might as well saying. be a vigilante. <laughs> Tate's got, Tate has the best idea. I mean, let's not, oh, yeah. let's not say she doesn't. I agree. 24 I hours of hardcore sex sounds I like mean, a wonderful time. Would, well, she didn't say hardcore. You're going to okay. pick. Well, of course it would be hardcore. It would be 24 hours. All right. It would be every kind of core. Wow. 
It's intense. Yeah. You heard me. All right. Don't look at me like that. That's like the P90X of sex. Nice. There you go. Got to go. keep, keep the muscles Every firing. Muscle guess. confusion. <laughs> nice. Yeah. yeah. Muscle confusion. Good call. Good call. Like, oh, it's a back day. <laughs> Probably not. No. I just, I just picture, cause I'm assuming you're gonna go to like a hotel or something No. Why would you if you only have 24? So, I'm, I'm talking like he, in the movie Crank. Cause you need Fuck space. that noise. You need space. So? So you have like space a, be good. so you have yeah. like a, and a, and room service. Nah, I guess. So you have like a Caligula good. thing going on. Mm. Yeah. Where you're gonna like run over people's heads with the thresher? If you can in 24 hours Pretty set sweet, that up. Right? Why not? While the orgy's going on? While the orgy's happening. You gotta multitask. Mm-hmm. You're gonna be lopping off heads while you're fisting somebody. Probably. Pretty impressive. Probably. I won't be fisting anybody. Come on. You only have That's 24 right. hours to live. Your, your hands are too little to make it real effective. It's true. <laughs> it's true. It'd be like baby hand fisting. Exactly. Yeah. Just... Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> Shove my ring up there. That would scrape. <laughs> that would probably hurt. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Plus, you know, it's going to be a pain in the ass for your family. you got to clean that ring up for the funeral. They don't have like, to. Oh, my God. Look at this ring. It anyways. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. That's the mortician that hocks it. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Especially if you're the mortician. <laughs> Somehow you will be. Yeah, that's how it happens. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, so sex, right. punching an old person. I'm just going to go around kind of doing similar things. Doing... General hooliganism. Yeah, I agree. You know, things, uh, things you can't do in a normal day. Though. I want it to seem like, I want my last day to be like, you know, when you're dicking around in Grand Theft Auto. I think that's yes, what it turns into. exactly. To where eventually a SWAT team comes out and kills you. You're like, yeah, I think I'm just going to drive off the street for a while. Yeah. Go through some fences. Yeah. I'm not even going to necessarily hurt people that don't deserve it, though. Hmm. I'm just going to go be a good guy. Good guy? Not really. No. No. Dress up like Batman and run around? Ooh, that's tempting. Sick. Always be Batman. Mm-hmm. No? Always be ba- Like, you wouldn't be wearing Batman costume? All right. Come on. Dress up like Batman and get banged. That That's, that's what she would... a little would... bit different than driving off the side of the road. Hmm. A oh. Batman-themed orgy. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> hmm. Hey, so now you guys want to be part of my last day, don't you? <laughs> Who said we didn't anyways? I mean, we'd swing by, say hi at least, get a burger Batman's or utility belt is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, the burgers only have turkey bacon. <laughs> oh, oh, God. I know. Sorry. See, then all that's going to do Wait. is fuel our rage. You have 24 hours to live. You're still going to have turkey bacon? Come on. I like turkey bacon. Oh. Dude. I, I could care less either way. I'll let someone else pick. All right, what if we take the turkey bacon and we wrap it in real bacon? And then... And then do what with it? Then eat it. Shove it up your ass? I guess. It's 24 hours I to live. I won't Whatever. be shoving bacon up my ass. It's already lubed. <laughs> My ass or the bacon? Whatever. (laughs) (laughs) Well, it is the last 24 hours. You got to be prepared. Exactly. Anything goes. Like lube everything up just in case. Just in case. (laughs) Anything will go. Right. (laughs) All right, then. All right. And on that note. Last day. If for some reason you've enjoyed this, swing by saltylanguage.com. Oh, <laughs> Check us out on iTunes, Stitcher, or wherever <laughs> you find other fine podcasts. iTunes. I said Maybe. Okay. No. <laughs> ah. Tony might be on the next I might episode. have 24 hours to live. <laughs> wow. One can only hope. Mm, yes. Uh-oh. If not, I'll be back. If you, Even if you die, you'll be back. Oh, yeah. Right? I will haunt the Pie the Gods Network. Oh, I hope. I so hope so. That'd be great. Hot. God. Damn it. Hey, this is Salty Language for the Pod God Damn It podcast. This is episode eh, 19. And the question that Wait our... We're only up to 19? Yeah. I, we're still within your range. It's cool. <laughs> um, what advice would you give your 13-year-old self? Speaking of within your range... <laughs> sure. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Bitches ain't worth it. <laughs> yeah. No, no, I'm kidding. They're kind of worth well, it. Well, Brian, uh, this episode of Pod God Damn It, not only have the, of course, Tate with us, we also have Soundboard T. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. It's true. All right. Yes, we definitely have a full Shameless Plug Studios for this. Fuck yeah, we do. Yeah. So, uh, also our southern who's gonna start this shit? I don't know. Not me. Tate! <laughs> Come on, you got something for us, don't you? 
Uh, what a dick. <laughs> yeah, you had to see that coming, right? Yeah. All right. I felt it. Yeah, you whoa, did. Whoa, that's right. whoa, whoa. Whoa. Oh, whoa. That's, that's yeah, right? Cool. That's why I was saying <laughs> whoa, and we're pretty sure you did. So. Yeah, I'll be okay. saving that audio clip for later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you naughty, naughty boy. <laughs> All right. Anyways, so what advice would you give your 13-year-old self? Whoever wants to go, go. Tony? Uh. Here, I'll go since I'm the only one who apparently has a goddamn answer. All right, good. (laughs) At 13, I wanted to kill myself, so I tell myself it's not worth it. Probably a bad idea. Don't do it. Things, I don't want to say get better, but eh, you just realize that suicide's a stupid idea. There. Done. Well, that was depressing. (laughs) Oh, that's it. Don't kill that's yourself. Pretty that's good pretty good advice. advice. <laughs> I'm just saying. To go back and tell my dad not to pull out. Would that make you happier? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Well done. Right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, and then okay. you look down. Whatever. I thought you were going to kill No, I was going to high five you, but whatever. Sure. No, forget oh, I'll it. Oh, high five All right. Cool. There you go. <laughs> All right, who's next? You goofy bastard. <laughs> what, because we high-five via camera? <laughs> yes. Exactly. Well, all I get from you is, oh, I'm going to low-five you because I'm a tard. So. <laughs> That's episode 77. Whatever. Salt to the Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> the one we just fucking recorded. <laughs> Dude, I'll pay attention numbers. Uh, right. <laughs> Hence all the statutory charges. <laughs> <laughs> I'd stand up, but I'm lazy. <laughs> Anywho, well done, son. I'd probably go back in time and punch my 13-year-old self right in the dick. Be like, man up, son. Man up. Right in the dick, huh? Right in the dick. Wow, that seems a little hard. I don't really have any advice for my 13-year-old self. All right. Because I think I turned out okay. Mm-hmm. Did I? No. Maybe. Yeah. T, you got more gentlemen, Jake. You're like, you're like just, just remember when you're 21, 18 is okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's legal. It's cool. It's true. It's true. Grass on the field, right? Is that what they say? Yeah. Exactly. Well, Grass on the field, play ball. <laughs> no. no? It's not a good motto. It's not I a good motto? Know. Well, when you're 21, it's fine. That, you're right. It's not a good motto because chicks shave now, so you're right. Oh, that's a good point. It's a good yeah. point. That's very true. Yeah. It's true. Yeah, you don't know what you're getting yourself <laughs> no, into exactly. anymore. They keep all them crabs off there. and I hope so. Oh. Yeah, exactly. No, all you can eat crab legs. It is a red lobster dinner. <laughs> It is, it is. Speaking of crab dinner, T, what you got? Yeah, I'll go past the <laughs> That's called the segue, son. That's how we do go, it here. <laughs> it's like a most snort. What I would tell my 13-year-old whoa, self. Whoa, whoa, whoa. shit, it got sexy. I know, right? <laughs> like, yeah, all right. Drop sexy, it, T. Sexy time, bitches, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and it counts. What I tell my, self, my 13-year-old self is just... Uh, Beat off more. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah. Stick to what you know, buddy. Well, that's all I got. Yeah. Use more lotion so you don't get calluses. No, I'll go dry, actually. Ah. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> Dude, I wish you could have seen her look when he said that. That was great. You're like, whoa. <laughs> Oh, oh, shit. All right, so seriously, what you got, T? Or is that your... No, what I got is uh, stick to football because basketball ain't your shit. Huh. Yeah, that's pretty much all I got. Hmm. So uh, you're not going to pull the Blake Griffin, uh, don't wear jean shorts and practice the dunking game? No. All right. Fair enough. Fine. All right, then. <laughs> Damn it, we got to get a third mic in here. <laughs> I know, right? How? What? So, Tate, what you got? Um, Such a dick. If you say travel back in time, punch yourself in a vagina, that's pretty hot. <laughs> Depending on what she means by punch. Oh, okay. But I will piggyback his masturbation-ish oh. thing and say... Calm down a little bit? Or sooner. <laughs> oh, oh. I thought she was going to go the other way. Hmm. What? What's the other way? Calm the fuck down. Oh, no, fuck that. No. Yeah. Never. Yeah, I, I know. <laughs> That's never going to happen. <laughs> I, yeah. I, 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 All right, then. Yeah. 
Wow, we roped through this one pretty quick. That's right. We still got what? Where are we going at? Six We're, minutes, like Mark? Six minutes, yeah. We can waste another four minutes. We got minutes four minutes just time for Tony, take us home. I got nothing. Can I talk about footy or something? Oi, oi, footy pints, oi. Is that what you want? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what about shenanigans? Some of us? Maybe. No, no. Shenanigans, douchebag. No, 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 no. This is an English guy. They don't talk about shenanigans much. So, Adam, I think Tate wants me to make fun of you. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, okay. I disagree. I actually think she does. I think she does. Mm-hmm. That's what she said before we recorded. Some about dungarees and footy and pints. Yeah. And hating you. And Warm pints. Warm pints. You're right. Room temperature pints of Guinness. Room temp, yeah. Yes. Maybe some scotch. I don't know. Whoa, whoa. Let's leave scotch out of this. Okay, Scotch right. didn't do anything wrong to anybody. That's true. <laughs> How about some uh, English breakfast tea? So what's that? Like Just tea. pissing in a pot? Tea's right here and you don't like it? I know, right? Racist. <laughs> Damn it, Tate. Man. Right, I thought I you were cool. Tea. I thought you were cool, dude. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know why, but I thought you were cool. Man. Not anymore. I Not know. Anymore. Why do you think that? Because you convinced me Dumbass. somehow. Wait, the bottle. Can't say how. <laughs> I don't know. Hate you so much. What's that? Refills on Gentleman Jack? No, it's gone. <laughs> Fuck you guys. This is the fine. the worst, most petering out pod goddamn we've ever is done. Is it though? Is it? Mm-hmm. Is it? It's pretty terrible. It is, is pretty it? terrible. Hope you don't use this, Adam. Oh, he'll use it. Oh, he'll use it. Because we're I hope brilliant. he puts it first so everyone can go, wow. That is a show we shouldn't listen to. And then listen to us anyways <laughs> at saltylanguage.com because... Aside from Tate, we really are worth listening to. Yeah, I'm the asshole here. Well, she said it, not me. Tony and I, yeah, nice I guys. We She's are. always the one that leads us down the dark path. Oh, yeah. Jeez, we try to be on the nice up and up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I always talk about okay. how I love nuns and orphans. Well, yeah, but you're talking about anal love of un- nuns and orphans. Well, you know, you got to keep it clean-ish. Keep wet clean, though. Exactly, loophole. <laughs> Jesus don't check the ass. Oh, right. You know, you're right. That's, That's why what all the Catholic promise, taught me. That's why all the promise rings work, oh. too. That's why ears and ass is okay. Exactly. Good call, exactly. my friend. That is very true, though. See? Are you saying that as a former promise ring wearer, or... You just... No, I never had a promise ring. Fuck that bullshit. But, no. <laughs> but yes, I know plenty of people that have had one. Oh. That back door's okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's God why. I can see back there. <laughs> I am like a virgin, said. except my asshole. It's been destroyed <laughs> by many, many people. I sit on a bar stool and just slide to the floor. <laughs> oh. Gross. What? Some people have called my face a sperm bank. <laughs> oh, man. Is that what you're talking about? Promise rings? I think rings so. Are I'm good pretty sure. Everything except that? Right? Yeah, I think so. Mm-hmm. Got to keep that vagina sacred. Everything else is fair game. Yeah, you can wreck everything else. Exactly. Ears, nose, eyes. Belly ass, button. Ass, belly button. Sorry. Yeah. Hand, whatever. Mm-hmm. Elbow. Yeah. 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 The old elbow fucking. Yeah. <laughs> no, I even knew people that wouldn't, like, do oral or whatever, just... Boo! <laughs> oh, well, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess we're not bad then. <laughs> yeah. She's like, yeah. Tate's like, hey, don't worry about oral. Just, you know, give up the ass. <laughs> and if you want to hear more talk like that, again, check us out at saltylanguage.com. <laughs> like, I won't suck it, but you can put it right in the old turd cutter. <laughs> See, turd cutter is a term that just doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, I've never been a big fan of that. Oh, okay. No. All right. No. Sorry. The old Play-Doh factory, maybe. The old Play-Doh yeah. factory, exactly. Yeah. All right. God, terrible. Let's get the fuck out of here. Really? Already? We're, t- we're having so much fun. Dude, it's, we're over ten minutes. Adam's going to yell at us. He will. Oi! How dare you go over ten minutes? Oi! <laughs> Adam, that was Tony. Footy, footy, pies, footy. I think he knows. <laughs> he may not. You never know. What if he thinks it's you? It sounds just like me. It does. Damn it, T. Stop with all the accents. I know, right? We gotta keep reining it in. If I know, accent, yeah. Craziness. She's always like, look at me sounding manly. Oh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Damn. Or, yes. Yeah, so, alright. Damn it. Alright. Oh, shit. Let's do some noose.
News. Well, news well I have uh, stories. You should ah, probably story. open up the news, Sal, Jesus though. Christ, all right. <laughs> Mine's very pertinent, though. It's very important. This this title on this one is really odd. Bus sex teen busted after queef beef. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That sounds like a terrible sandwich. <laughs> I think we were talking about that earlier. Yeah. <laughs> the old molten Montana. <laughs> I'm writing that down, by the way. That might be the name of the show. Molting Montana. Yeah. Ugh. I love a molting Montana with a side of queef beef. <laughs> <laughs> oh. It's a gravy fries. <laughs> oh. Oh. Would you like to upsize that? <laughs> you know it. Sure. That's Ugh. personal. Ugh. A female high school student who was having sex in the back of a Pennsylvania school bus allegedly struck another pupil in the testicles after the younger onlooker, quote, began to laugh and chuckle when she expelled wind during the lewd performance, according to police. The bizarre incident occurred last Friday at around 3 p.m. as the school bus traveled in an Armstrong County township 50 miles northeast of Pittsburgh. A female student who recently turned 18 was cited for harassment by Trooper Brad Jordan, whose initial report used less than 60 words to provide a memorable description of the encounter between the young woman and the 13-year-old victim. Both the victim and the accused were riding... The school bus wrote Jordan, who quickly turbocharged the narrative by adding, quote, the accused expelled wind from the vulva during coitus while at the back of the bus, end quote. It appears that Trooper Jordan relied on the Urban Dictionary for a more artful definition of queef. After the audible wind expulsion, the boy began to laugh and chuckled at the accused for her actions, reported Jordan. That is when she allegedly approached the victim and elbowed him in the testicles. Uh, the accused was cited for harassment. Jordan's report does not identify the young woman's sex partner. Now, what sort of elbow was this? Like a playful elbow or like a macho man? I'm hoping a rope. macho man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The graphic nature of Jordan's account was met with consternation by embarrassed state police brass who directed that an updated uh, report be faxed Saturday to local media outlets. The second dispatch asked recipients to please disregard the prior report. In an interview yesterday, Trooper Jordan said that while the January 17th bus incident was described accurately in his initial report, the recounting of the wind release was, on reflection, too explicit in terms of terminology and language. If he had said queef, maybe. She wanted to queef, sisters? <laughs> maybe. Maybe. While the name of the 18-year-old uh, was released by investigators... Uh, due to criminal citation, it will not appear in these pages because high school is hard enough without being dubbed the bus sex queefer. <laughs> As That's... for the boy, he was not injured for the blow to the testicles. Well, yeah, I'm sure he's fine. First comment says teen laqueefa. That's a pretty good comment. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's pretty strong. That's pretty good, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so believe it or not, Brian, mm -hmm. we had a, a Facebook comment. Yes. From the ever reliable FRJ. Uh huh. He asks if you could be any superhero in the comic world, how awesome is it that Bieber might go home? I'm not sure how that sentence makes any sense. Oh, but... him and his infatuation with Bieber. There is an infatuation of Bieber. Yeah. So I, I, I don't even know how to answer that. I, I don't know. Cause even if he's shipped back to Canada, it's not going to end his reign of terror. No. Joffrey will still be ruling the world. It won't matter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know it's, uh, you know, what was he doing? Drag racing at like 60 miles an hour in a Lamborghini? Yeah, and it's I pretty, think. It's pretty hardcore. I think he blew, um, what the, I forgot what it is. Like, you think. Every blew, officer in the yeah, precinct. Yeah, <laughs> wait. I, he blew, I don't remember if it was drunk or drugs, but he was, I think he got like a driving under the influence or something too. Right. Or that's what their, the initial charges are. It'll probably all be like, you know, changed to, I don't know, being Canadian and he'll be released on his own recognizance or something. I don't know. I mean, I, you know, I, yeah, I'd be better off without him, but. Yeah. But yeah. he's not going to go away, go away. No. So, yeah. But I don't pay attention enough to him that it doesn't matter to me. It's one of those things. Exactly. You know? Exactly. I did think it was humorous that there was, uh, I forgot what network it was on, but there was a news person talking with a congressperson and they interrupted them. I did see that. Oh my God. To break That's that. That's pretty ridiculous. That air quote news. Yeah. yeah. Did you see the, the congresswoman's face? Yeah. It's like, she had like a crazy eye and if ugh. she could have reached through that, t the feed and slapped a bit, she would have. <laughs> yes, exactly. And rightfully so, because this is not 
news. Yeah, entertainment news does not matter. No. It's like, bitch, am I on TMZ? What's going on here? I mean, if no one talked about it, we, uh, yuckaroo, that's exactly. all I have to say. Although I did post a terrific video some comedian put up earlier today about, you know, fuck Justin Bieber, basically. <laughs> it was very, it was entertaining to watch. That'll happen. Yeah. Uh, oh, another question came in by Jared again. What's your opinion on why Batman vs. Superman or the Justice League movie is being pushed a year? Oh, yeah, because the rumor is that it may get pushed back to 2016. Hmm. I did not heard that rumor yet. Yeah. I, you know, I don't know, because, I mean, the initial date on that was set far enough back that it wasn't going to compete with the Avengers. Right. You know, because clearly they don't want any part of that fight. Um, yeah, no, Because no. DC hasn't done as well as Marvel has. And Avengers is very established. Yeah, it's a juggernaut at this point, you know. Yeah, it's a Hulk even. I don't mean Kane Marco, I mean just a juggernaut. But juggernaut would be cool, in it? Right. Maybe. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe. Probably not. They'd probably, probably ruin it. Yeah. Ruined! Now we're not talking about, like, unless they, you know, like, Spider-Man him up where they're just changing the looks of everybody. Right. Um, I don't know, though. It, it's interesting. I, I think it's, I don't think it's, I don't know. It seems like it's not great for the franchise to push it back if right. they can help it. You know, originally, like, I think the first thing was that, like, you know, Affleck, like, hurt his leg or something and they would, they had to push it back originally because he wasn't going to be able to film, you know, any sort of physical roles. But then right. I read that he's got, like, two other movies or something he's filming before. So I don't know if it's because of that or, or what. Wow, dude's just commenting all over our shit, right? <laughs> it's a little disappointing, though. I'll say that. Because, you know, even though I have no excitement whatsoever for, like, Affleck as Batman, I still, you know, Batman and Superman in the same movie, it's still, as, as a geek, you can't help but get excited a little bit about that. Right. Because that's not happened yet. No, and especially man. the way it's going, it does kind of feel like... A Justice League movie. Like they're really trying to set up a Justice League movie with it. So yeah. that may be cool. Or it could be awful. Or it could be awful. So there's going to, once again, no middle ground here. Mm -mm. It's going to be great or terrible. Yep. Yeah. Probably pretty bad because they just cast me as Martian Manhunter. Perfect. <laughs> no. Well, basically, you know, you just get all the little tennis balls on you because it's all motion capture. That's true, yeah. 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 It's pretty awesome. Right. Hot. God. Damn it. All right, well, hopefully uh, everybody enjoyed those. And uh, like I said earlier, uh, we'll see you next week for uh, – or we'll be back with a full strength episode, hopefully. And uh, we'll uh, um, catch you up on some silliness that's happened in our lives. Uh, until then, as always, you know, if you want to uh, check out SaltyLanguage.com where all of our social media links and everything are um, – if you want to, uh, while you're on there, you know, check out the networks we're part of, the Tangent Bound Network, the Geek Life Radio playlist, and, uh, yeah, sorry, sorry Michael, uh, Danger Entertainment. Uh, go check those out. Um, also, while you're on the, the website, there's a link on there for Patreon. Uh, if you'd like to help the show out, you know, help us, you know, we're not looking to get rich or anything. Well, we are, but, you know, I mean, it's, uh, we're, <laughs> we're just, uh, you know, hoping to, Help with the uh, server costs and whatnot, but whatever. Uh, there's some reward stuff on the um, site that uh, if you pledge enough, you can get. And, uh, you know, we think maybe there's some fun stuff in there. We've, we'll have some stuff coming up soon. And, uh, yeah, uh, if you another way you could help the show if you'd like to is if you're going to shop on Amazon, swing by saltylanguage.com first, click the Amazon banner, and then shop away. It uh, doesn't cost you anything else. They give us a little referral fee. And uh, everybody wins. Um, and then, of course, you know, uh, if you could help us out by retweeting our our show links or sharing them on Facebook or wherever you see them, you know, social media wise, uh, that helps out a whole lot, too. And if you're using iTunes, uh, please rate, review and subscribe us uh, to us. And um, um, if you're using Stitcher or another podcast app, please use the share and like features on there because all that stuff helps us it like raises us in the like overall list and stuff and makes us more visible um so yeah uh if you want to contact us you can find us on twitter at salty underscore language 
Uh, you can find me at Stunami. You can find Tony at Monotony. Uh, and again, all the other links like our um, Instagram. Um, you know, I think I can't remember what Tony has our, our uh, Snapchat on, but it's on the website. Like the snap codes for both of us are on the website. So if you go there, you can find it. Um, and uh, yeah, that's uh, I'm trying to think. There's probably more, but I don't remember. Uh, oh, one last thing. If you um, if you want to be part of the uh, our uh, fantasy situation, fantasy football, where we're doing uh, picks against the spread uh, that we've called Dude Mountain in the last few years, um, shoot us a, either an email at saltylanguage at gmail.com or DM us on Twitter with your email address so I can add you to the league. It's uh, free to play, and we just do it for... Um, uh, just to talk trash and have fun. So, that. Yeah. And with that, I guess uh, have beer, you'll be fine. Stay salty, and um, I don't know, pod goddammit, I guess.